Bike Book. This is lesson 89. And uh, I, I put it out, here's a sketch we had to start with. This is the quick rough pencil sketch I did of the sort of cornfield. They, 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 they sort of bailed the corn and, and, and this, this sort of stubble out here. A bit of a couple of trees there and some trees in the distance, a field there. And, and, and that's it. Let, let, let's take it from there. We can do what we like with it. See? So that, that, we'll put that out of the way now. These are the colours. Um, the sienna, the ultramarine, ultramarine burnt umber, we could, which I've used so many times, it, it'll be printed for you regular people that come. So, but that, that's the colours, if, if you're a newcomer, uh, that's the colours we're going to use today, and I'll put that out of the way. Now here's our picture, and th th there's all sorts of thoughts I've, I've had on this. I, I can either make it a nice, lovely day, and and some lovely, lovely sort of corn, and that on here, or I could do it the other way around, and make this uh, the threatening sky, and then it will stand out better against the corn. So uh, it's just a case of what what do you want to do. So I, I, I've made a decision for you. <laughs> I'm going to do a, a bit of a threatening sky there, and that, that'll, that'll brighten the foreground up like this. So let, let's go over the sky, shall we, first. And uh, what I was to blow in there first. I haven't mixed a lot of this because. Uh, And this flop must flop brush it. I'm still using these, by the way, just to let you know I'm, I'm still practicing. And that. And then uh, I think we'll, we'll, we'll put some threatening stuff in the top here, like this, like this. Make it one of those moody paintings. And then as it goes in the distance, of course, it, uh, it weakens, doesn't it, the sky? And take some more sort of the other and crimson and stuff in like that. More water on that one, I think. Soften it in. Keep that line straight down there. Okay, it's a rough paper I'm using. This is the uh, Saunders Waterford. Uh, 420 gram rough. So it's, it's it's no mean piece of paper. It's a nice piece of paper, but on a small scale like this, it uh, it, it sometimes is a bit daunting. We'll see how we go. Get down this bottom here. A bit more illusion in that sky. Making these clouds a bit less flat. Most of the light coming from the right on this one, that's what we can touch the clouds on this side.
to me, it, it wants to be a threatening sky. And it, it, it's not really threatening enough, that. Let's see if I can make it a bit more threatening. You can't be a bit of threatening. Oh, see what I mean? That brings the top right over. The Victorians used to do this, you know? They used to paint the, paint the tops and the, the corners and that dark, so it brought the eye into the middle of the picture. Good idea. You want to try and focus the eye on something? Right. I think that's that's just about threatening enough. Just about. Perhaps just a touch more into there, just to... That corner could break. There, now stop fiddling. That's, that, that's it for the sky. Now we need, need, need to do the next job is to sort of create a, a bit of a depth there to, to, to shove those, those bushes back. I'll use a smaller brush this time. So still, still a, a mop brush, but uh, We'll see how we go with that. So we'll mix a bit of touch of alizarin crimson and some French ultramarine. Gives it a sort of a, a distant mix. That should give us a sort of a... It, it throws it back a bit. This is the, the hedgerow, if you like, or the, the distant landscape. I mean, some of this will be covered, so I don't know worry about it. And you might, uh, if, if you're pushing it, you might get the odd, odd tree in here, like this. Don't start putting berries on or anything like that, it's just a suggestion. And then there'll be some, some I tell you what we'll do, we'll, 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 we'll knock that out. In front of that, I'll put a, uh, a bit of a greeny tree instead. I love changing my mind like this. Keeps, keeps me on my toes. Everything's fresh because you don't know what you're going to do yourself. It's, it's, this is what's nice. I've got people saying to me, oh, well, you know what you're going to do, don't you? Because I don't. Let's see what that does. And the foreground. Take that off the land there. Put one around here. The lights from the right, I think I want to darken some of that bottom there a bit, shall we? And the bottom of these trees here. Let's immediately push that back, you see. That's the way you tell them. It's background stuff, this, so don't. Don't start putting robins in, things like that. That'll do. And that. That's nice getting some dark under there. 
the light from the right. Let's see, same with this here. And it'd be nice if that green got up the, up the hillside there, won't it? Let's take it up the hillside. Right, shall we? Uh, we can either tattle that 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 uh, uh, field on the on the on the slant there, and, and this one here. And, and I want to keep on keep this this uh, uh, feeling of corn and that because they've harvested this one, but these two could be still wanting harvesting, couldn't they? They, they look quite nice, I think. Let's just show them as un, unharvested fields or fields of corn, for a better word. Let's try that one, shall we? Over the head, I'll go, I'll go over the edge, the edge will cover that. Right. And this one here. And uh, while I'm at it, I might as well do the field, isn't I? Like this. Put the direction of lines in basically to show where the how the bales go, because the bales have got perspective as well, haven't they? They've got to show perspective on the way they're going. Lovely colour. This this is, this is the raw sienna. It's a nice transparent goldy colour. That's a bit of a, a bush there, so I'll leave that as alone. And it'd be nice if you sort of started to put, put a bit of uh, brown in the front, like the burnt umber. A touch of that in the front to. Uh, Just sure it's not, not all, all sort of uh, pristine. This sort of thing. up there so I'll take it out How's that? bring it back down a bit this is where the stubble is it nice and dry Right, well, we'll tackle these, these are sort of hedgerows, hedgerow there as well, and uh, make them nice and juicy. So that's cadmium yellow. Let's get that cadmium yellow cracking. Cadmium yellow. And that, my old favourite, Windsor Blue Red Shade. But not too much of it, because it's, it's a strong stain in that one. You've got to be careful with it. It can take over quickly. So your best when you're mixing these colours, by the way, put the the, the 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 greens. Mix the yellow first, and then add a little, a little of the blue, gradually, so till you get the green you want, and keep testing it, and then you 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 get the green you want then. Take some out of there. It's, it's 
done too far for me. There, and of course, we'll have some, we'll some doubts where the roots are. The roots are always dark, aren't they? A bit dark into there. And we'll have a nice, uh, just a touch of green on here. Sort of the edge of the field. Gone up a bit there, see if we can get rid of that up. And a similar type edge at this side. Alright, some dark into that now, because the sun's from the from the right. Don't forget. I wonder if this this light green bit in the the where the the plow doesn't get. It's just, the, the field is still green, so I better pop some of that in. This stuff here. The limitations is these mops, especially in a, an experienced hand of mine. <laughs> This is my old medium burn timber. It's a mix I've always got on the palette, so I can always use it to, to darken things. Like the edge of that, edge of that, that grass where it's, it's ploughed up. This one is, is I, don't, I don't, I've lost that simmer, so I'll, I'll just put a bit more bit more uh, cadmium yellow into it and see if I can bring it to life a bit. Now I want some lemon, put some lemon in, cadmium lemon and that'll bring it up to life. Should be anyway. Yeah that'll do. <coughs> This uh, will have some bits of brown in this, and where the plough's caught it. The dark. 
that bit. It's rough ground this, it's not uh, it's not your lawn stuff. So it's going to be undulating. Oh, I like that word. Undulating. There I don't know where I got it from that. Just take uh, that a bit long, a bit more up there. It's just not, I've, I've lost that again. See, it's, it's, it's with watercolor, you've got to be careful. You just lose your, lose some of that, that stuff you've painted by it just bleeding into the actual paper. So I'm just restating that a bit. Down to there. That's all right. That's down there, that's down there, that's down there. Now what were the, these, uh, what they come out called? Bales, aren't they? Bales of hay. Let's see if we can make them a bit more barely, or more, more visible. And I'm going to use that burnt umber we've, we've, we've started with. Let's see how we go with it. And so, first of all, it's, it's going to be round on the end, isn't it? Might be a bit too too much colour in there. Let, let's take it a bit, take it down a bit. Add more water. That's what I'm doing. The end of that. The end of that. I'm going to slip a touch of um, more raw sienna into that mix now and just put, put, put these the bit under there. A bit too far with that one. And this one. Right, we'll do a bit of deep dark, but the burnt umber on this. Let's see if we can get it a, a touch darker. Some of these points in here. On the bottom, it'll be dark there. trees at the back there, isn't they? On the sketch. If there isn't, we'll have some anyway. So we'll, 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 we've decided to have some. Definitely, this is, uh, I'm mixing some French ultramarine and burnt umber just to get a nice dark for the trunks and that. And I'll put the trunks in first this time. Let's get the structure of the tree and then I can put some leaves on afterwards. This is opposite to what I generally do, but I'm always experiment. I love to experiment. Sometimes it goes pear shaped, 
and sometimes it goes apple shape. <laughs> and sometimes there's no shape at all. But let's have a try, let's have a try. I'll use that rigger for this. I can just barely pick them out. I'm right handed, so I'll work on this, this, this one first. Thicker at the base. That's one tree. There's another one here, it's a bit thicker this one. Right up into that into that cloud. Something like that. And there's another one to the side of that as well. I don't like two. So we're three. This is the third one. And the bottom is going in, into that bush, the bushes down there. This, that's one method of doing it this way. And, and then what you can do is, if you use cadmium yellow, cadmium yellow is, a, is an opaque colour. So what's useful about that is it will, it will usually cover what's below it. So I'm going to mix up some cadmium yellow now. Quite a, quite a strong mix. I just wanted to be wanted to be opaque and, and, and cover what's those branches and stuff like that. And some Windsor red shade into it. And then we'll see how we go with this. So we'll we'll, we'll take it like uh, I tell you what I'll do. I'll, I'll use a, a different brush because I'm, I want to keep the keep the paint on that one. That background one there. A little bit less less strong than the than the foreground one. So it'll take its place behind. All right. This is a weaker mix. We can mix in the distance there. Right now, the the, the next tree is that this this well, this is a couple of trees quite close together, so we can we can treat this as one. And let, let's just go for it. The sun's on the right, isn't it? See, that was covering that one now, so. But 
but that's an alternative for doing the uh, doing the leaves first and then putting the branches through. Uh, and 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 they, they both work. They both both have their their their, their good points. But what I've liked about that is I had a cloud behind there, and it was nice to capture that, the 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 cloud behind that tree there, just so it's not, so it's not uh, just a, like a hole. I want some, I want some darks. I think the lights from the left, don't forget. So we're going to get some darks on these, aren't we? On the right hand side and the below. Underneath, where it's dark. That hanging out there and a touch out there. Pull the other leaf out, you see, and then it looks like you've painted them all. And then I wanted a bit of a hedgerow just here, in front of the in front of the trees, and so the behind this this hedge, and that's the the far end of the field, if, just here. I think on that sketch, if I remember, I've got some figures under. So I'd better put some figures in. Well, I think you've been cheated. So let's 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 sort that one out, shall we? With the figures. Uh, I'll use a, a rigger, and we can put workmen in, or Fred and Mabel. I don't mind. Let's do a bloke. He's, he's, he's looking at his bale here. All right, look, we, we'll, we'll put him in. Uh, what colour shall we have him in? I'll have some. Uh, see if I can get some light red trousers. Not not red, which is it's a brown. This. So if he's working on. On this one here. He'll be leaning over like this, see, on this bale, and he's got his arm out like that. And you can just see his body because he's, he's, he's leaning over the bale. And then we'll put him some trousers on. I've I've done some f f scenes with 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 cornfields on 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 the ships and that and uh, you'd be amazed at the, the the suggestions of what what these these blokes are doing. And I, I, I'd tell you what they are, but they were too rude to tell you what what they were getting up to. But he's, he's working on his, on his thing there. Uh, we'll, we'll put somebody else walking up the field. There's always one doing nothing, isn't there? Uh, we'll put him some... Uh, we'll put him a blue, blue jumper on, shall we? He's just, he's going to report this one. He's done his shift. And he can't wait to get his cup of tea. Let's 
Put in some trousers. Put in some brown trousers on. Let's get these brown trousers on. Snake hips, yes. As he walks up the field like this. We should put him a flat cap on, shouldn't we, really? Because he's a farmer. Somebody told me about this <laughs> dyslexic Yorkshireman wearing a cap flap. <laughs> I did like that. Yeah. Quite good. That's two, I want three figures because they, uh, I, I don't like just one and two, so it's three. You get a third, and I think we'll put a third just about here. And we'll put that in a, in a bright colour so that's a draw your eye into your picture. How's that? See what we've got. He's up here like this. He's He's got the tea. He's made the brew. There he is. And he's, I think it might, we'll put him with his arm up, just shouting his mates. Come on, get your tea. How's that? Come on, get your tea. Right, there's one thing we've got to do, haven't we? We've forgotten shadows. We like a few shadows, don't we? So I think we ought to put some shadows in. The daylight is. Sun coming from the right, don't forget. Let's have a look at some shadows. Uh, we're going to have some shadows, let's see, from the right, so we're going to get some shadows on, on this thing here. And across here. You'll cast a shadow, that block there. This will be in shade, this part of this, this hedgerow here. This will be in shade here, around this block's feet. This one will be in shade here. Some shade down the edge of this field. Uh, that's we still still sunlit, sunlit, sunlit. Let's have a look what uh, you'll not see the shadows from those trees because they're too high and too further away. You might get to touch up, touch up the shadow field around this area. It comes across. And uh, what we could get, we could get a cloud shadow, couldn't we? A cloud shadow across this this front area, just now about here. Some clean water on that for a start. Put a, put a bit of a cloud shadow in the front there like that. Keep away from the edge of it. It won't be a cloud. It'll be it'll it'll have a sharp edge. And cloud shadows don't have sharp edges. They're gentle. They're soft. The bloke with a T at the top hasn't got a shadow. I'm just going to put it in because I forgot it. All right. All right. You've got to watch yourself. They catch you out all the time. Here he is. He's got his shadow here. Look. Right, doing a bird as well, we'll give you a bird, full volume for money, no missing about. Uh, inland scene, so it'll be a crow this one. I think just one crow on this one, just a, what's that? There. Just a crow. You click it with any, any bit of corn about, there he is. I don't think I can do anything else if, if I'm without fiddling so 
Uh, I tell you, I'll, I'll just drop this bit of a man. I'm telling you, tidy, tidy tip of it, doesn't it? And uh, say, well, well, that's it for today, folks. This is our, our, our cornfield. Uh, in in well, it could be anywhere in the country. But it's it's just a, a nice trees and, and corn and people. And uh, I hope you liked it. And if you did, give us a like and subscribe because. I'm, I'm, I'm getting near 500 and, and, and uh, I'm, I'm so excited and I'm, I wanted to push it up to a thousand actually but uh, it's coming up, it's coming up but so but spread the gospel to your friends and that and, and, and they'll subscribe, it doesn't cost them anything and, uh, and we'll get more people joining, that'd be lovely. So the, the, the focal point is around this area with the, the, the trees and that stuff like that and it's not off, it's off centre, that's what I mean to say. So and, uh, and I hope you enjoy it. So it's goodbye for me today folks. Bye-bye.